Hadfield Station is complete. Now it's back to basics. Stay tuned and all will be revealed. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Piccadilly. Yes, things do look a little bit overgrown here, but if I pan you up, you can see now the station is complete. All bar one thing, and that is streetlights. I thought I had some, but I actually don't. So they'll just have to wait and for another occasion, I'm afraid. Perhaps when, when I get to do Glossop, um, I might buy a, a pack then and we'll do both stations at the same time but fortunately this will have to stay in the dark now as you can see I've used a whole load of different um, items on this and my first outing with um, seafoam and I quite like that that has turned out beautiful and also this stuff here which is actually um, although there's no branding on it, I got it from Amazon. There's literally nothing on the box whatsoever. So I thought I was buying a big pack of sea foam like like that, but in actual fact, that's all it was in a little packet. So there we go. I mean, it's coming useful as you can see, but uh, a lot of this is just clump foliage, woodland scenics, and a mixture of the stuff I've made myself, and then scatter over the top with. Um, the fine turf and sort of dust, if you like. And then, so I've done dark colours and then gone over with a bit of yellow. But also, if you look carefully down there, you might just be able to make out there, there are bicycle racks and there's a salt bin. There is a planter just there and a seat just underneath the gantry, just there. And obviously loads of people. There's another seat just there. Um, as I said before, this part of the building isn't long enough. Um, that seat would normally be there, but I've just had to make do. But there are three seats there. The information board has gone in. I'm sorry, no, it doesn't work. <laughs> I know many of you are disappointed by that, but there we go. <laughs> and as we go further up here, you might be able to make it as another planter and a sign. And there is another sign just there, again with a lone person. And then there is a little railing just next to the bridge. Now, many of you did mention about um, the foliage going over the bridge. Now, what I've decided to do here, um, as this is broken down and all sort of dilapidated, to let the foliage grow up and then catch on the top of that bit so you can still see the wall effectively down that side and this side um, I've not gone overboard but just put a bit of foliage there and then Dave just for you there are the barriers to stop people from falling off the edge <laughs> um, so there we go um, I've also gone ahead and put in the catenary down there and you'll notice this part of the track is not ballasted um, but when I come to put this bit back in, then obviously that will need ballasting and I'll do the ballasting at the same time. So again, I'm more than happy with that. And as you look over here, you can still see the town without going overboard. Okay, now my next part is to get this up onto the layout and then start thinking about this immediate area in front here. So it will be going right back to basics, I'm afraid. Um, building landforms, scenic in the up. And then I did say something about working on the tracks. So let's have a look at that. Welcome back. So although it's a bit dark, it, it's been a long time coming since this unit has been in position. And obviously things have changed quite dramatically and hopefully you can get an idea of what's going on here now. So if I just do you a quick sweep, as this line will obviously join back up with a point here and there'll be a fresh piece of track going to that point. Obviously that goes around the corner, that will then tie up. Underneath all that clobber will be glossop, use the flashing. 
I'll explain this in a minute and then that comes back round to here through to Dinting out over the viaduct and then back around there all the way down there and back into Manchester Piccadilly which is just there <laughs> incidentally you've seen that on its side um, once I fitted Hadfield the water pours both that one and this one just here are next right so the point is how do I fit this into position well you can see it is in location there's no doubt about that but that's I need a piece of back seam to go in there and that will be painted and that will tie up with that I'm thinking maybe a bit of an overlap and the way it ties up is the back the hills in the background continue and then I can bring the foreground over the top and overlap and there will be a hill here which will sort of come in and sort of do that type of thing this here is a bit narrow to put a, a hill um, it'd be a bit too severe so I'm thinking maybe if I put in some uh, retaining walls not these ones but uh, that type of thing that sort of thing I mean I could actually 3d print some of those or very similar anyway which might look quite nice I don't know but uh, and then also to replace this thing here which looks um, terrible yeah so that will be replaced with a longer piece which will come to here straight and then another piece going around the corner and then a piece going all the way up to about there and that's where the hill will come in and slightly overlap and go back down there this area here I've been looking at uh, carriage sheds and it appears that there's not an awful lot outside um, I could go for putting a concrete uh, base in here but the carriage shed is due for a major overhaul either next year or maybe the year after so I'm reluctant to do too much to that at the moment um, you need to think about the tracks in there but that's not for now so I'm tempted just to ballast this and weeds shrubs that type of thing and just sort of make it look a little bit more run in if you like with some obviously loads of junction boxes and cables going everywhere that type of stuff I think that'll probably work to be honest and uh, I even have a big patch of overgrown area in there which then could tie up with what's going on behind even though these are the branch lines going around the corner so all that will be ballasted up to that point and sort of blended back in that's the plan for the next few days anyway and uh, yeah we did say Andy from Moreland was recommending maybe a hill over the top of that and that can certainly be done fill in that triangle so there's lots of different things that can be done there and uh, yeah so my first job then is to go down, back downstairs having brought this back up and start making some of these walls catch you shortly there we go so there it is it's taken many hours to get to this far and lots of printing lots of modifications etc 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 now it is to my design and the reason for that is because I wanted it narrow at the bottom and to give more distance here and therefore it curves over ever so slightly so my next job is to take it away and cover it in brick paper i'll catch you later all right just to let you know where we are a couple of things to show you so those walls have now been fitted and weathered they are removable and yes there are some gaps down there so all i'll do is just stick some foliage to this and then just let it sort of droop over the top which i think would look better anyway but if I bring you down and you can now see the new back scene now I know that one is lower than that one but please bear in mind there's a shelf here and from normal viewing distance you don't see that that gap there and I'm really not going to worry about it because it comes out at that height and uh, so I'm more concerned about whether it matches and I think it does I think it matches quite well so I'm quite pleased with the way that's come out and then obviously that then blends into that and then eventually 
Um, I will continue that when it goes off towards Glossop. I'm not going to show you that, that uh, junk again. So my next stage now is to start thinking about these hills. And as I said before, this will come down here to about there comfortably from the track and then come right the way around to about there and then back up the side of the wall and then hopefully link up with the top of that uh, bit of Hatfield there. So that would be my next stage. So I'm going to now get a piece of A3 paper and start making a template. Okay, I thought I'd just show you these before I fit them to the layout. Obviously that's the wall that I just made in previous few clips. And obviously now you can see I've got this hill. Um, it has come out a bit ribby. Um, so I will be um, sort of pressing those areas down and putting some very... Um, coarse foliage over that just to stop these ribs I don't want that to be in the final view or final scene if you like so I'll sort that out it won't be a problem um, but also there's an there's an area between the branch line as it goes up the back uh, just in front of that new back scene and the carriage shed so this will fit inside there and I've sort of put uh like a bit of a, a lip there so I shall put some filler over that to make it look more stone like and then grass over the top um, the idea being is that those two will sit kind of opposite each other and give the impression that it's kind of cut out of one hill and um, it's sort of been made into a kind of cutting if you like uh, but uh, anyway we'll see if it, how it works so I will get those painted up and scenic up and I will show you later. Well here we are at the end of the video so I'm just going to pan you around to show you how all that now has worked out so far. Now despite what I said a couple of weeks ago the scene is unfortunately not quite finished so I will continue with it. Um, obviously this area here needs to be done and this bit over here needs to be covered Andy, don't worry, it will be done. But uh, you can see now I've got this mound in the middle of the tracks, which is the bit I showed you in the last clip. And you can also see the hill is now scenic up. So if I bring you back, hopefully you can see how that ties up there. Like I said before, I'm quite pleased with the way those two are joining. There's not a lot I can do about the overlap. That's unfortunately the way life is. Um, I could glue it, um, but I don't want to um, because I think I'm going to create problems in the future. So I've blue tacked it and that will suffice for the time being. But it's getting there. The tracks have been ballasted, as you can probably make out. I have, I've literally uh, just ballasted it. Um, not done anything else to it. Um, I've checked the points, they all work. Um, this area here has got very close to the tracks. Um, the trains do clear it, uh, but if it cause a problem, I'll, what I'll do is slit into the scenery, because it's only papier mache, I remember, and press down like that, and then just pack the scenery back in. In fact, I might do it anyway, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure it looks a little bit overpowering but um, obviously any white bits is glue so that will all dry clear but it's yeah it's getting there I'm quite pleased with that and obviously like I said all these tracks are all ballasted up to this point this area here and that will be done when I come to do this bit here uh, which won't be this year now and likewise I've left a gap there so that I probably will put some hard standing in and I might even take it out a bit further, I don't know. Um, but it's not difficult to remove the ballast if need be. But anyway, so this bit here, um, been thinking about it. Um, it's probably going to be grass, a lot of it, and not as much as this, but grass, static grass, maybe a few little shrubs. So it probably look a little bit like that area just a tiny little bit with a few sort of shrubs here and there, weeds, that type of thing.
but because um, I think it would be quite nice to sort of give the impression that this is in the countryside I mean we've just come out the countryside scene here and then suddenly stop it with a bridge and then it doesn't continue it would look a bit strange so I think I will carry on with that and also very similarly when I go into Piccadilly have this as grass here and then gradually start to introduce the odd buildings as I go around there that probably would look a lot better and there is there is space down there to put a small bank in if nothing else so you never know um i'm contemplating and tell me what you think maybe but um contemplating doing this area before even doing glossop um the reason being is because then i can the layout is becoming more complete um as we sort of go round if you like and then instead of doing one bit and then leave a gap in the middle right what i'll do now is back back off a bit now so you can see the scene from a distance and encompass the rest of the layout too right so there we are so obviously that's Hadfield just gone in there and the new scenery that I've just put in there and you know even from the other day to see Hadfield sort of over there um, and the gap in the middle it it looked irksome if I'm honest to see the gap so to see that scenery in now i know there's a gap literally the other side of the bridge just down there but it doesn't look massively out of place because the boards are painted i will i will deal with it and i'll deal with it this week but you know when you start to see the rest of it there's dinting new mills over there and obviously the mill standing up and that was because i had some issues with the track at one point and i needed to get it out so that was the reason it's still there but um you know it's coming it's definitely coming anyway i think i'm going to leave the video there and um, get this one uploaded and um, i will get hadfield and the area finished between now and next week i i've had people ask me about the water pour and that will be after this i need to get it done in the summer holidays <laughs> otherwise it'll start getting cold again and then <laughs> I've got to get it done. So it will be done within the next week or two. All right. Anyway, take care of yourself. And I'll see you again very, very soon here on Piccadilly. Bye for now.